This tutorial is brought to you by Hey, what's up guys? My name is Josh Inobakure and welcome to Olufemi Tutorials. Hey, how's it going guys? We're going to learn how to transition between one clip to another clip. So if you don't have a transition, you're just going to have a hard cut in between two clips, but you have the option of actually adding a transition. So we're going to go to effects and instead of going to audio effects or video effects, you have the option within this effects tab to go to audio transitions or video transitions. So let's check out video transitions. There's a transition I usually use. It's underneath the dissolve folder. It's called cross dissolve. Let's put this in between two clips and see what happens. Let's go over here and press play. As you can see, there's a soft fade in between two clips. Cool. Um, there are many, many different types of transitions you can use. Let's look at another one. Most of them, in my opinion, are just kind of cheesy, honestly. So I don't usually use them. Let's put whatever, I don't know what this does. It's, it's called the checker wipe. Let's see what that does. As you can see, I don't usually like any other transition except cross dissolve. Um, so here's an interesting thing that you should know about. Um, you can have cross dissolve, cross dissolve in between two clips, or you can put cross dissolve, let's go back to cross dissolve, at the end of a clip or at the beginning of a clip, and instead of fading in between two clips, it's gonna fade from nothing into the clip. So check this out, it's gonna fade from black into the clip. Now let's put it at the very end of the clip. As you see, it's going to fade out to black. Now check this out guys, this is actually a very interesting, this is a very important topic to go over. Say you have two clips, right? And this clip begins right here. The clips are stretched out so that you can see their beginning and ends. So um, I want to stretch all these clips out so that I can see the very end, the very end of this clip and the very beginning of this clip. Let's zoom in right here to this point. You guys see what, what I mean when I say the very end and the very beginning? So this is the very end of this clip. You know that it's the very end because you see this white triangle right here. You know this is the very beginning because you see this white triangle. And if you were to extend it, it won't extend anymore. So if you put this clip right against this clip, and you try putting a cross dissolve transition on this clip, it's going to say insufficient media. This transition will contain repeated frames. Basically what that means is what this does, I'm going to delete this transition, when you when you put a transition in between two clips it extends this clip out and into this clip and it extends this clip out into this clip but if you literally have no more footage at the end of this clip to extend out from and no more footage at, i mean at, at the end of this clip to extend out from you, the transition won't work so what you have to do is you have to actually crop this back a little bit and crop this back a little bit so that there's actually footage that's you know able to be drawn out from at the very beginning and footage that's able to be drawn out from at the very end of this clip and then if you put them back together and you put this cross dissolve it will then work cool awesome and that is cross dissolve for video transitions now let's check out audio transitions audio transitions um, so let's go to audio transitions. The only transition that we're really going to use is something called constant power. Constant power is basically cross dissolve for audio. So listen closely. I'm going to put constant power at the beginning of this clip. And of course, for cross dissolve or constant power, you have the option of extending it or making it smaller. This it basically allows the audio to fade in from nothing. So check this out. how it faded in from nothing to something. Now let's go and put um, cross dissolve, which is in video transitions at the beginning of this clip too. Let's delete this. So now I have cross dissolve at the beginning and constant power at the beginning. So now the clip is both going to fade in with the video as well as fade in with the audio. Check, take a, take a look. All right, and that's an overview of transitions. Thanks for watching. 